hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy is one of the major cause is perinatal asphyxia since inability to initiate or sustain breathing as can be seen here due to less supply of oxygen a part of brain may develop ischemic infarction now let's see the essential criteria for labeling a child as having hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy Essential criteria includes umbilical artery pH less than 7 or base deficit more than 12 mmol per liter that is acidic blood total abgar if 0 to 3 at 5 minutes and 10 minutes of life cns dysfunction evidence of multi organ dysfunction now let's come to the neuropathology of hie the neuropathology is basically brain pathological changes which can be seen on mri scan In preterm patients, their brain MRI scan shows periventricular leukomalacia, or PVL in short. It occurs due to damage to the white matter around ventricles. And term patient shows cortical neuronal necrosis and parasitical injury, which is seen as status marmoratus or marble brain disease. This marbling is seen around basal ganglia and thalamus. Other conditions showing marble brain appearance are renal tubular acidosis type 3 and osteoporosis. Now let's see the staging of HIE. According to Sarnath and Sarnath, there are three stages. If you observe carefully, you will see that first stage involves a hyper alert child that is sympathetic overdrive and in second the child is lethargic and in third the child is comatose. Coming to the parameters based on consciousness stage 1 is irritable stage 2 is lethargic and in stage 3 the child is unconscious coming to the pupils which are dilated or midriatic in first myotic in second and unequal fixed in third the suck reflex and moros reflex are strongly present in first weak in second and absent in third important thing to note is the seizures since the brain is mildly affected in first hence abnormal brain activity are seldom seen whereas in second it is much damaged hence foci of hyper excitability develops but in the third the condition is so severe that the capability of brain to generate impulses are lost hence the patient reaches coma rest of the parameters can be understood easily Coming to the investigation the investigation of choice for HIE is MRI in this the diffuse weighted MRI is the best then comes T2 flare technique and then the T1 MRI now let's see the management management has two aspects supportive and neuroprotective supportive means to sustain the life of normal brain cells and neuroprotective to help decrease the damage Supportive therapy includes oxygen, fluids, blood glucose control, calcium infusion and phenobarbitol. Whereas neuroprotective therapy includes the cooling of the body or head to 33.5 degrees Celsius for minimum 6 hours and maximum 72 hours to cause decrease in the metabolic rate of the brain cells hence decrease their oxygen demand. This helps the brain cells to survive in bare minimum conditions.